Hi there. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit about co-ratios. Okay, so what do I mean when I'm talking about co-ratios? Well, you know that in trig, we have the sine and the cosine function. Notice how cosine has a little co in front of the sine, which means that these two are each other's co-ratios. Okay, co-ratios. Now, the prefix co means together. Okay, together. And it actually refers to the two angles in a right-angled triangle that are not 90 degrees. Okay, so if this is 90 degrees, then this angle and this angle will add up to 90 so that the interior angles are equal to 180. So this plus that will be 90 degrees. Whenever we have angles that add up to 90 degrees, they are called complementary angles. Complementary angles. Okay, and there you see the prefix again. Co, complementary, once again it means together they are good. Okay, so that's where we come into play, or what's coming into play here. So what we have is that if that is theta, then this angle there would be, because this plus that is 90, then this one must be 90 minus theta. Okay, so look what happens. If this is my opposite side, let's call it x, and that is my hypotenuse, let's, uh, sorry, not x, call it y, that's my opposite, we call it r, and this is my adjacent, let's call it x. Then we see that sine of theta is equal to y over r. Okay, and we see that cos of theta is equal to x over r, okay, adjacent over hypotenuse. But what happens if we now look at 90 degrees minus, in other words, the other angle? If I were to look at that, tri that angle there, then this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and the hypotenuse is still the same. Okay, so if I look at the other angle, which is now whatever 90 minus theta is, then I get that this is equal to x over r. And if I take it of cos of 90 degrees minus theta, okay, I find that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this time cos is y over r. And that's when I notice the following. Okay, I notice that sine of theta is equal to cos of 90 minus theta. And that cos of theta is equal to sine of 90 minus theta. And that is what we call the co-ratios, or the relationship between the co-ratios. So we have that, if I ever have the expression 90 degrees minus theta, then this would be equal to cos of theta. Okay. Notice that 90 degrees minus theta is in the first quadrant. It's an acute angle. That is 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus theta would be somewhere in the first quadrant if theta is less than 90 degrees, acute itself. And cos of theta is also in the first quadrant, so it's somewhere there. Then we also have that cos of 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine of theta. Now just a little bit more evidence of something that you've actually seen before is if I were to take sine of 30 degrees, I get a half. Now what is the other angle, the complementary angle of 30 degrees? It's 60 degrees. And cos of 60 degrees must have the same value as sine of 30. And you can go check this, but it's true cos of 60 degrees is also a half. So we see that sine of 30 degrees is equal to cos of 60 degrees. And that is the basics for now.